guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. I cannot believe that it's 2022. 2021 was such a great year for so many reasons, but also a really hard year for a lot of other reasons. So I'm really excited for this year and to see where it takes us. But in the meantime, today's video is all about highlighting tips. Now, if you're new to my channel, my name is Riley. I am a licensed cosmetologist in California. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'll have it right down here as well as subscribe to me down below so you don't miss a video. Now, hopefully you know what highlighting is, but if you don't, highlighting is more of a high maintenance blotting service. I usually recommend my highlight clients come about every six to 10 weeks. Highlighting usually includes blonding to the root. You could do a little bit of a shadow root if you like, but it is more of a higher maintenance service than something like a balayage would be. Because I do a lot of blonding, most of my blonding is more low maintenance, but I do use a lot of highlighting techniques. So today I'm gonna be giving you a lot of tips and tricks on how to make your highlight the best it can possibly be. Something that is very important with highlighting is kind of getting in a rhythm and saying what works for you. So one of the tools that has helped me become an avid highlighter is a balayage board. Now I have talked about this in so many videos and honestly this is a key staple to all my blonding services. You will never see this thing not on my tray. It is just absolutely amazing. So this is just a super generic product club balayage board. It is literally like a plastic board that has a squared off top and no handle. I really don't like the ones with handles. I feel like they're harder to hold. So I prefer the one without a handle. So what a balayage board is going to do for you is allow you to get a very precise application, especially going close to the root. I also love using it around the face so you can get those little highlight baby light strands right around the hairline. It also allows you to paint on the hair. This allows you to have a harder surface. So painting is easier. It definitely takes practice to use one of these, but like I said, it is so worth it. If you guys want a video all about tips with a balayage board. That is something I could totally do because it's something I'm very passionate about. My next tip for you is to use an extra long foiling comb. Now this one is by the brand Press. This will seriously change your life. Once I started using the extra longs, I've never gone back to a regular. The other day I actually grabbed a regular length and I tried to do one foil with it and I was like, absolutely not. A regular pintail comb does not fit all the way across the foil. So if you wanna get your foils really close to the scalp, there's probably going to be one side that is either bunching, maybe even falling. This long pintail comb fits all the way across. It is the exact length of the foil. This works for short hair, for long hair. Honestly, it is absolutely amazing. The next tool you need to become a pro highlighter are the Fromar Starstruck pop-up foils. Now, I've talked about these in so many videos before, but these have also just totally changed my life. Like I said, they are pop-up, so you don't have to cut them. They are pre-cut. You don't have to fold anything literally all you do is pull one out and the next one is waiting for you the foils don't stick together it literally gives you one at a time this saves so much time and the fact that I don't even have to cut foils. So the last tool that you need is also by Fromar and it is the Fromar Mall Highlighting Brush. This one actually has a pintail on the end of it, but I don't use it to be honest. You definitely could. I don't really know what it's for, maybe to part hair. I love this brush because it is a shorter brush for sure and it's very dense. It allows me to be very thorough in my application, which I really like. Because it is shorter and because it's more dense, it allows me to get really close to the hair Line, but it also allows me to feather up. I literally use this on every single application and I will be lost without it. This one is from Vermar and actually they don't sell it by themselves, but this one specifically is just really nice for applying your bleach when foiling. Okay, now on to the four highlighting tips I have for you. These are things that I have either been taught or just learned over the years. Seriously, put these into your practice. They will make your life better and easier. So the first tip is to fold your foil back backwards over your comb. And that's kind of hard to explain, so I'm actually just going to show you. So a lot of times when people are foiling, they take their comb, they take their foil, and they fold it like this. But what that's gonna do for you is not allow you to correct your foil if it's slipping. In fact, you're probably gonna get bleed marks, bleach marks all over the head if your foils do slip. So I always teach people that when you are grabbing your foil and your comb, you should place your comb behind the foil and fold it like 
that. Like I said, that's gonna allow you to go back in after the foil is done, after the product is in it, and kind of move it up a little bit, bump it up. That way there are no bleed marks, there are no bleach marks over the head, and you won't have to correct any of that later on. My next tip for you is to be super thorough in your saturation. Don't be afraid to use a lot of product. Saturation ensures even lift. If you have even lift, it'll be way easier to tone. You won't have to correct anything at the bowl. So don't be afraid to apply lots of product. You flip the hair up and see if the underneath is saturated. The way you fold your foils really makes a difference in the saturation, so just be mindful of that. Sometimes it's better to just fold the foil once, or sometimes you can sandwich it on top of each other. Just be aware that the way you're creasing your foils can move product. You need even saturation to get even lift. My third tip for you is to start foiling in the back, especially if you are a beginner. Now, a lot of people say, well, I start in the front because I want it to be really bright around the front. That's how I know I'm gonna get better lift because the foils will be on the front for longer. Well, what happens if the client processes faster than you thought she would and now front is literally white and the back is still orange. If you start in the back and the back processes and it's done, you can pull it. You can take them to the shampoo bowl and you can rinse it. There is no shame in the back processing faster. I have definitely rinsed. Honestly, a majority of my clients, I have rinsed the back way before the front. And what you can do to ensure that the front lifts evenly to the back is just use a higher developer on the front. The last tip goes hand in hand with that last one and it is adjust your developer so it all lifts at the same time. Sometimes highlighting can take up to two hours to foil depending on the desired outcome and how much hair they have. So adjusting your developer every bowl is going to ensure that they are processing at the same level. I was told something as an assistant which really stuck with me and that is low developer just works slower. So just because you're using 10 volume doesn't mean you won't get the lift of 40 volume. It just works slower to get there. So if I use 10 volume at the very back and nape of her head and I use 20 at the front, they will process along the same time because the 20 is working harder than the 10, but the 10 is just gonna be on longer. So as you're working, as you're mixing more bowls and you're using product, just keep adjusting your developer. Maybe go from 10 to 15, 15 to 20, 20 to 25. Highlighting is seriously such a beautiful technique. It will never go out of style. I feel like now my highlights are turning more into baby lights, into teasy light. There's just so many different ways you can do it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye guys.